Babies. All right, guys. So I have a 2006 Dodge Ram 1500 SLT. Um, having a problem. The cigarette lighter does not work. Uh, the one on the right side or the one on the left side. Um, I have it plugged in. And the car is off and there's no lights. So what we're going to do is crank the car up. Just to show you that I still do not have lights on this um, earbud charger. So what we're going to do is turn it. Well, let's let you see that the other one doesn't work too. So I'm going to pull this one out. Put this one in. So that doesn't work either. Now, it does have a third one, which is under the uh, armrest. If you were to put it in this one, you see the lights? So the one in the armrest, center, center armrest, that one works, but these two don't. So. What we're going to do is we're going to find the fuses, if it's the fuses, and see if they need changing. Alright. Alright guys, so I'm at the engine. Don't laugh at my pole. That's actually holding up my hood. Uh, I'm going to have to change out these shocks. Both of them, both of them are gone. Um, but back to the fuses uh this right here is the fuse box what you want to do is just press on these two levers pull them back and lift up on it all right so now you have this open and what you're going to do is you're going to look for the cigarette uh lighter so you can actually take this off if you want and pull it up straight and then just pull it off it just makes it easier so you don't have to hold it sideways to look at it I know this is probably hard to read but what we're looking for is anything that says like uh, console IP cigarette lighter anything like that so let's see um, Let's see, 30, which one? We're gonna look at this one right here, which is 38. Let's go up here to the top. 38 is a 20 amp fuse. It says power outlet IP, okay? So that one would actually be this one right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this out, take a pair of, I just use, uh, pair of needle nose pliers I'm gonna pull it out sit it right here oh yes this is this is blown I wonder if you can see this if I put it to, there you go see that that is blown all right so we're gonna change that one that is a 20 amp I have a couple fuses here let's see We're going to put this 20 amp in. Okay. Now we're going to make sure that that's not the only one that's blown. Um, we're also going to look at 40. Let's see, 40 is the 20 amp cigarette lighter. Okay. So let's check that one out too. All right. That's going to be this one right here. Pull this one out. Oh yeah, that one's that one's blown also. Look at that. Let's see if I can zoom up on it. It's kind of hard to see. This one's, this one's about as good as I can get. Let me see if I flip it all this out. You can see it a little bit. See how that's blown? Alright, so... That one right there is blown also. So what we're gonna do is get another 20 amp 
and we're going to replace this one also which is right here okay and let's look again just to see if there's anything else on here okay we have another one that is a 20 amp it's the very first one it says number one it says 20 amp power outlet console now that should be the one that's in the armrest um that one was actually working but we're going to pull that one out just to make sure This one here. We have three of them now. Let's see if we can see that one. Yeah, see if you can look at that one a little bit. That one's actually good. So we're gonna put that one back in. See that? That one's actually good. So we're gonna put that one back in. All right. So right now we have everything um, set. We're going to go ahead and put this back on. Um, to put it back on, you can see it's like just it just snaps on. So I'm just gonna put it on like this. And press it on. That's it. Lift this up. Alright, so we got that snap down. And let's go back into the car and check to see if we actually fixed it. All right, guys, I'm back in the car. Um, I have it plugged up. Let's pull it out one time and then put it back in there. I have it plugged up. You know, there's no power, but we're going to crank the car up. All right. It was set. Uh, it's still not on, but it might not be sitting in there properly. Check it. Still not working. Uh, give me one sec. Let me just check something right quick. So let's let's just check the other side. Check the other side. Okay. So that side is actually working now. But the one on the right side is not. We're gonna go check that fuse just to make sure that we didn't sometimes you gotta move it around. Okay, so that's not working. We're gonna go back to the uh, engine bay and we're going to check to see if it is a one of the fuses uh, didn't sit in correctly. All right, give me a second. Okay, I'm back at the fuse box. Let's open this back up. And let's just check to see if this fuse is in here correctly. Oh, this fuse is actually blown too. Hmm. What size needs to go in there? It says 38. Let's see. It says 20, 20 amp. Let's try it again. It actually blew. Um, did I put a 20 in there? Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> I put a five in there. So that's the reason why it blew. So, all right. Now we know this right here is a 20. Okay. Flip it around. 20. All right. So my mistake, I accidentally put a uh, five amp in there. As you can see, it's a, see that? That's a five amp. As soon as I turned that sucker on, it blew. So, all right. So, we put a 20 in this one. We put a 20 in this one, a 20 in this one. So, um, this one is 
40 and is the cigarette lighter this one right here is 38 and it is the power outlet IP and the one here is number one and it is the power outlet console and I believe that one to be the one in the uh, armrest all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the front close this up under here there we go all right so we're gonna go back um to the inside of the car and we'll check again all right guys i'm back in the vehicle and there you go it's charging see that so that's what it was um i put the wrong one wrong fuse in it too small of a fuse and it blew it so we just plug this back in just to check and this one actually charges with the car or the vehicle off. Um, let's crank it up. Just to make sure that it is still charging and it is still charging. And just to let you guys see again that my RPM tachometer is still working. And that's probably been about two or three weeks ago when I shot that first video about the tachometer not working. See that? That bad boy still working. So that just lets you know that the fix does hold up. I mean, it has been uh, two to three weeks and it is still working. So just wanted to let you guys see that. I know you see that in check engine light on, but it's okay. Uh, we're gonna check that and see what that is on another video. It's probably something very simple. All right, guys, this is JOATD and I'm out.